Good to see you, Scratch Ticket fans. Yours truly, Idaho Scratcher and TNT Productions. Five $1 tickets. It's time to climb the ladder. That's what we're going to do today. So, holiday fall of all the fun. Hmm. So far, I haven't had anything really good come out of these tickets. Maybe today will be different. I am crossing my fingers and hoping to God Almighty that it does actually change and we get something decent today. 143 through 139, and we are going to count down. That is what we're going to do. What is Climb the Ladder? It is a phenomenon. It's a scratch ticket phenomenon. They have designed these tickets to actually play at different odds and whatever, and people are to play, have them play any way they want to. Most people walk up to a machine or to a person and they go and grab a ticket. It's what they do. Or they grab a few tickets. This one is that you actually grab these tickets, five of them to be exact, and then you take what you win and go higher up the lottery ladder. I get a dollar, I only go stay on the dollar. That's just what it is. If I get $2, I go up to the $2 tier. If I get $3, I go to the $3. If I get $30, I go up to the $30 tier. Hmm. Pretty simple, really. But a lot of people don't know about it at all. They says, I have never heard of anyone playing lottery tickets like that. Well, you're going to see it right now. And I'm going to show you what can happen. What we are going to do now is we are going to read off this ticket. We have two ways to win. We got a candy cane and a tree. The tree doubles, the candy cane, <laughs> you get what you find. Went up to a thousand bucks, number 143. And the odds on this ticket are one in two, three, zero. Now. This is actually important, the 230 right there. If your $1 tickets are like one in eight and whatnot, make sure that you grab at least eight tickets before you try climbing the ladder. The reason why is because you have an, actually a very good chance of scratching out. Because I have really good odds, I'm actually able to grab only five $1 tickets. Idaho has that right now. I do not know how long they're gonna do it. When I first moved here, these were like one in three, six, four, one in four, six, four. And I play, I played it, and sometimes you saw me get five, you know, five dollars lottery for five dollars. Um, as these odds actually improve, you're now seeing me get things more often about ten dollars a lottery for five bucks, uh, sometimes all of it for free, ten dollars lottery for free, stuff like that. So remember, if you're gonna play climb the ladder, you gotta scale up if you're according to those odds, just to be safe. So let's get to scratching and see if we can't find something decent. How much more will we get? today well maybe none i have actually blown out but on these tickets with the odds the way they are i usually get about a dollar and we already have a winner like i said um these are like one in three to win but i usually get one in two dollar winners which is actually kind of cool it's fine some people say oh you're only getting a dollar it adds up when you do a hundred times this a hundred times if you do climb the ladder a hundred times and only getting a dollar more you just got a hundred dollars worth of lottery than more, you know, more than what you paid for. You kept paying five bucks. You kept getting that one dollar. And after a hundred days, a hundred times if you do this, you have just got a hundred dollars worth of more lottery. That's how it is. That's how it works. So what do we win on this? Two dollars. See, I told you one in two dollar winners. This time we get a two dollar winner already. It's seven dollars a lottery for five. That is what I'm talking about. If you always get more lottery than what you pay for, you'll not necessarily stay ahead, but you'll stay ahead of the game, the odds. You want to play as many odds as possible. What what happens when that two dollar? What if I get this two dollar ticket? I'm going to get a two dollar ticket now. What if that two dollar ticket does pop off and you win a hundred dollars or ten thousand dollars, which is actually the top prize of one of our two dollar tickets right now? Sometimes it's twenty, but now right now it's ten thousand dollars for all of our two dollar tickets. But what happens if it did that? If that two dollar ticket you bought because you bought five one dollar tickets and then got that free two dollar ticket, what would happen? That's the question. Climb the Ladder has not been able to do that yet. We have managed to, our secondary and tertiary tickets usually blow out, but you get that extra chance. And that is what I'm actually pushing here for Climb the Ladder. You get a little bit more than what you paid for. Let the lottery let you play the lottery. Ticket number 142. Can we get back-to-back -back winners? We are already up by two. We are going to get that $2 ticket tier. That's why we also climb the ladder. And it's fun. There's a back-to-back -back winner right there. I must have picked a winning patch, which is actually pretty cool. That E can be 10 or it can be 1. You and I know what it's going to be. Probably a 1. But you want to know what that means? 
Let us take it for what it is. It is one. That added to this, that's a $2 winner, and that's a $1 winner. That's $3 a lottery. That makes it eight for five. Now I can get a $3 ticket. What if we win something big on there? As a matter of fact, my biggest run was $64 a lottery for three bucks, and it was a $3 ticket giving me $18 that started it. So <laughs> I've had a $1 ticket give me 30 bucks too. Also give me 40. Not on climb the ladder, but I wish it did, but I did get that. Ticket number 141. Do we get back to back winners? Back to back to back. Just pick those good winning patches sometimes, and sometimes you pick a loser. It happens. Get over it. Ooh, a doubler. That is a back to back to back winner. And it's probably gonna be a two. Oh my goodness, that is a double. Win double, it says. Win DBL. We like that. Ah, this is crazy. Three tickets in a row, win, and we are going to be looking at, I mean, we got $3 there, we got $2 there, huh, we got all of it. We're going to get $10 in lottery for at least five bucks. Double our amount of lottery for five bucks. Here we go. That is what we like. Oh my God, no, it's not. Oh man, what the hell just happened? <laughs> this is climb the ladder. That's 10 bucks. <laughs> Here I was, I was looking at that T and uh, thinking the obvious, taking the obvious road. Gonna be two, I says. No, it's 10. That's 10. <laughs> Guys, this is what I'm talking about. We have $13 already back to back to back. This is crazy. Now, I can take that $3 worth of profit and just go and get a free $10 ticket. Now that we are talking about $15, possibly $18 of lottery for five bucks. Climb the ladder. It works. I'm telling you, it's right there. It's, you see it right in front of your face. People can't believe it. And, you know, they wonder, why are you excited for all these small-time winners? Why aren't you? This is a free $10 ticket. If that $10 ticket gives me $100, is not climb the ladder worth you know worthwhile? That means I would have got it for the original $5 that I dug out of my wallet. Well, why didn't you go buy a $10 ticket in the first place? Because you're not guaranteed to win. You're not guaranteed to win on anything. That's why I want to make these tickets free for you. I'm not going to spend any more than $5. Had $20 in my wallet. I took $5 to buy five tickets. And guess what happened? <laughs> now we got 10. 13, actually. <laughs> this is crazy. Ugh, climb the ladder is so crazy. Uh, some people see the concept. I try to get them to understand it. You know, teach his own. <laughs> I'm not going to harp on anybody about it. You play the lottery the way you play it. Some people pull one ticket and win 300 bucks. Not me. It doesn't happen to me. I have to play, I have to do little games like this to actually get more. Back to back to back to back. Let's do that. I am just in the winning today. Let's keep it that way. We are doing a climb the ladder for a winner for the win. There's our first loser. <laughs> And there's that W also tricking us. <laughs> Finally, one loser. Uh -huh. We don't like to say stuff like that, but you know how it is. All right, we got the losing out of the way. Let's get one more winner. How many? Let's make it like fifteen dollars, and even fifteen dollars here. Let's get a two dollar winner. I would like to see that. Otherwise, I'm stuck with thirteen. Lucky, I'm lucky thirteen, and I'm fine with it. It's not going to hurt anything. It really won't. All righty. There's that loser. All right, we get two losers in a row. But, you know, we can't, we cannot complain. No, we can't. We got three winners today, and we've got, like, profit. But that doesn't matter, because you know what this means. $13 in lottery, we got $2. We got the $1 right there, $2 right there, and the $10 right there. There is $13 in lottery. There are so many options that I can go and do right now. We can shoot all the way up to the $10 ticket tier and say, $15 a lottery for $2. I like that idea. I got a nice little $10 ticket that I like to play doing that. I mean, we got a limited ticket that actually is one in nine, and that can actually give you a $50 or $100. Wouldn't that be cool if that popped off? I mean, it would be, but it's almost a guaranteed loser. I mean, it's like one in nine to actually pull it. I can also play something called the holiday bonus. Yeah, that one's taxes paid. That's a $10 ticket. It can blow off, give us 20, get a $20 ticket. Never know, never know. So... What am I going to do with that $13? Hmm, stay tuned because things are exciting right now. I'll be right back. And I'm back. 
And guess what? After all that help for Paul all the fun, we are back with Climb the Ladder. And I have like $10 more of lottery. But we had $13. Warning. Money prop. <laughs> There's the money prop. So, now we get more lottery for less money. Why? We started out with $5. We won $13. Now... This is like $15 a lottery for $2. Ugh, oh, almost free. Might use that on something else. You know I will. Uh, anyways, let's see what we got here. I got the $5 silver bells. Now, what I decided to do was actually go from a $1 ticket, climb the ladder to the $2 ticket, then go to the $3 ticket, then go to the $5 ticket. That's what I decided to do. Climb the ladder. We went up. One, two, three rungs did it this time. Oh my God, that is crazy, folks. Look at this. Ah, $2 ticket, $3 ticket, and a $5 ticket. All off the same five bucks. I mean, come on. So, the brand new Be My Huckleberry. This is supposed to be actually a Valentine's Day ticket, but I don't see Valentine's in it. I see like, you know, blueberries or huckleberries. Hell, it might even be eggplants or something. Who knows? They're purple. Uh, but oh well. Top prize of 10000 bucks. Match any of your numbers to the winning numbers. You win that prize for that number. Find a heart symbol. It's a very sharp heart. Almost looks like an L to me. Or a bat. Dang. <laughs> you win triple your prize amount. That's actually pretty cool. I like a triple amount. So I like two ways to win on a $2 ticket. Now the bad news. All odds are in one and three, four, six. It's actually pretty expensive yeah <laughs> that's a bad odds on one of my two dollar tickets i have better ones one in three one in two uh eight nine i think and then you got those differentials of prizes up here we did win a ten dollar prize on this off camera so it looked good but then it turns on us <laughs> so let's start climbing the ladder and see if we can't find something better all right what will we get today if anything Oh, yeah, um, this is also, we also got a different um, ticket uh, maker. The other group, I think there's only like two of them in the country that makes it. They won the bid for these tickets. So we got different ones, and they're actually kind of uh, flimsy. See that? It's not as thick as our other ones were. Although it is, seems to be doing okay, and they seem to got good design standards. It scratches okay. I haven't ruined the veneer yet. Of course, you got to wait for them to dry out a little bit, and then you might see that. 17, 18, 16, 17, 18. Now all I need is a 19, because then I'll, just, I'll cover that 20. Why not? <laughs> it's got to be here. There is an 8. Ooh, they're kind of encroaching on the prizes there. A 3. I am looking... For the heart symbol. I want to see if it exists. Gotta see it. Alrighty. Getting some 20s. Some diversity. 27. Let's see if we can't see it, find any more here. Lots of 20s. Alright. We are counting so much on there. 20, 21. <laughs> 23, skipping a couple of numbers. Let's see if we can't climb any further. We were able to get several different tickets, so I'm actually itching to be able to see if I can win something else. Do not have a 19, but there it is. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Aha! I knew they'd make us count. Kind of had a feeling. Yeah. Next one is. I'm sure it's 15. Yep, it is. All right, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh my God. <laughs> it covered everything but winning. <laughs> Okie dokie. Don't get any more on that $2 ticket. That's too bad. So we step up to the $3. Also, a new $3 ticket on here. Copycat cash word. Look at that dog pretending he's a cat. Makes him furious because everybody will still love the cute dog. Or am I wrong? 
Second chance app on this one, and you can actually win about three hundred dollars worth of uh, three dollar tickets, which means a full pack. Basically, you get a full pack of these uh, bad boys. Maybe not this one. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how that one works because I haven't won one yet. Anyways, words with the pause symbol. Double surprise. Ticket number thirty-seven. Top prize of thirty thousand dollars. And then we. Oh, this is one thing. Also, we got also a bonus uh, yarn ball right here. Unravel it. You might win thirty bucks. Cool. Mm-hmm. I like that already. So, what are we looking for? Two identical symbols. That's what it is. Okay. It's a little bit small on there. Uh, let's see. Odds are one in three, three, two. Not too bad. And a diversity of prizes, which is all of ours. But unfortunately, I think about the highest on this one is fifteen dollars. Uh, the Beach and Go uh, Bingo. That one actually has a high of eighteen dollars in there and twenty. You can actually get twenty dollars per pack usually. Uh, it's not guaranteed entirely, but it's one in a hundred. There's a hundred tickets in every pack. So that almost guarantees it. I don't want to say hundred percent because I'm sure somebody will find a pack where it just doesn't have it. Buy a pack, find it and look through there and you don't find anything. Maybe you'll, you, maybe you get two or maybe you get three $18 ones and no 20. You see that sometimes that happens, but it's actually of the odds within that range. So, and there's at least two $18 winners in every pack, but that's not guaranteed. Of course, it's just the odds. So there should be one, but you never know. All the tickets that are printed each have the odds of being able to do that. So let's see what we have here. Copycat cash word. Oh, does he really want to copy a cat? Are cats cuter than dogs? I don't like to say that at all. I could always throw a bone in there, like and say, rabbits. <laughs> rabbits are cuter. I can always do that and make it. Both parties upset. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's see if I can find a winner on this. E A S and T. E A T, no S. Okay, so we'll start out with that one. Oh no, the first one that wants to do is get rid of my pause. I hate it when they do that. Ugh. Why does it do that? No C. Oh my goodness. It always does this every time I turn around. Okie dokie. I'm not going to impose on anyone. That's cool. I'm not going to impose. Let's see on this. How about found? F O U, no N or D. N and D are gone. No dog. Oh no. That means the cat's rule on this one. D and N. Come on, get out of there. Oh man, I'm losing my paws. Ah man, we lost all our paws. I hate that. Hmm. Alrighty. DNN, that's all gone. Alright, now we won't be able to find anything. <laughs> Alright. P, U, and T, we are going to put, that could be a put option. It can also be a put. <laughs> or we're going to put it in a door, put it in a closet. How about a rope? Ugh, sometimes I wish I don't even ask. Now we don't even have any R's. Hmm. I think they're already gone, so we don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> Etiquette. <laughs> Want to bet that we're going to have a long word like that? <sighs> E-T-I. Yep, E-T-I. Q-U-E. Q-U-E. Oh, boy. T-T-E. Yeah, we're going to have etiquette. Okay. Get one of those big old long words, and then we have nothing else. Ugh. That is funny. Okay. How about we don't have an R, so we can't even get an overcoat, overcoat or a ram, and that pretty much ends it. Right there. Yes, it does. Darn. Ah, I knew we'd get a long word and then get thrown off the planet. <laughs> All right, two like symbols.
Those do not look like the right symbols. I see a dead fish. Mm. Not very appetizing on that one. So going this way may not have been the best way. Silver Bells. $5 ticket. Went up to $50,000. Find a snowflake up here. You win some money. How awesome is that? Ticket number four. 21 chances to win. Otherwise, it's a match and scratch. This one is what Angry likes to play. He likes to play match and scratch. There's one in three, five, zero. Not the worst odds. We have some as high as one, three, and uh, one in three, five, uh, three, eight. And that actually gets pretty bad. Five, 10, 15, 25, 50. He likes to meander a little bit. I don't think there's any $500 winners in there. I'm not sure. Let's see. I see 250 on this one. Hmm. That's interesting. Then it goes up to 1,000. Strange as strange may be. Ah, I have not found a snowflake up there at all. So, do I get stopped on all three tickets? It is a good possibility. I pull them all just to make sure I'm getting away from dangling winners or trying to stay away from just picking just one ticket and, you know, putting all your eggs in one basket. There is that dreaded 40 right there. Mm, lots of 40s, though. <laughs> Let's see what we find, if anything. Here we go. 46. Oh, the only 40 we don't have up there. A3. Lots of threes up there. Just not paired right. Oh, we got a 49. I almost thought they'd give me a 50 just to spite me. There's a lot of fours up there, too. Just not that one. Got a dyslexic 40. 19. Nope. Shouldn't even bother with that one. 23 is the only one that number that we have there. 32. That's a dyslexic 23. See more of those this coming days on Idaho Lottery. 18. A 16. We don't have any of those. Don't have any singles either. So they're not even stretching to try to keep us in it. 36. They're just throwing out those numbers and not matching. Nah, no singles. I knew they'd give me a 50. Remember when I said give me the 50 with the 49? <laughs> ah, asking you shall receive, and of course you don't find it. 23 is what I need. Ah, nope. Not going to match that 12 today. Match 34. Well, we are not going home without some nothing. <laughs> oh, I was hoping that if I picked three tickets, I'd find something. I mean, I had to. Probably about five bucks, but that is better than nothing. Dyslexic match 43 also, so that's what that does. Alrighty. No singles. We are going to pull it out of the hat today. Mashed a 34. Hmm. Uh, will we have some fun today with that one? I do not know. Number nine. At least we've got a match. That is what I'm happy about. Ah, it's probably five bucks, but you know what that means. Now that I like kept five dollars, I mean, I can actually, you know, when I kept the money like this, you know what's funny? <laughs> now I can actually go out and go get that three dollar ticket, and then guess what happens? We can keep the five dollars, get that three extra three dollar ticket, and we'll still manage to get probably something like eighteen dollars on lottery for nothing. Mm, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> eighteen dollars on lottery for absolutely nothing. That means we just went in there, took some tickets, and when I says, "Oh, do I need to pay for them?" Ah, nah, you don't need to pay for them. You're good. I'm good. Yeah, you're good. Cause you're just gonna win it all back anyways. <laughs> So there you go. That's how that works. Oh my goodness. It is $5. But you know what? We don't care. Because on Climb the Ladder, when you get five more dollars. <laughs> now I am looking at about $18 a lottery for absolutely nothing. All I have to do is go get another $3 ticket. Take this $5. Pay for this original five tickets right here. Completely and we are looking at $18 on lottery for absolutely nothing. Climb the ladder, folks. It works. 
works. That is how it works. So, that's what I want to do. Another thing I can do is just actually go get eight more dollars a lottery. So now I have all of this, which actually contributes to about 15 bucks. There's five, 10, 15 dollars. There's 15 dollars a lottery here. This is a five dollar winner. There's three dollars right here. That's eight dollars. Now we are looking at $23 a lottery for five bucks. What am I going to do? Well, that is the conundrum. You're going to have to stay tuned and find out. I will be right back. And I'm back. Third pull. Oh, my, my. Ugh. This is rare for a climb the ladder. Ah, but be forewarned. Money prop. There you go. Sometimes people say, why do you put money on the screen? Well, the reason why is because look what we got. This silver bell is right here, won five bucks. We had three bucks from the original poll. We had 13 total from the $5 of the fall of fun. And so I took that one and I set it aside. Now I got $10 lottery. So what I did end up getting was I got a uh, nice Be My Huckleberry and I got a copycat cash word and I got the silver bells. That was $10 actually more lottery. So we had actually $15 on lottery for a whopping $2. Okay. So what happened was we actually were, we actually won on the silver bells another five bucks. What did that do? Well, it actually paid for all the followed all the fun tickets, which means climb the ladder is now at completely free. I took the three dollars. See, here's the five dollars there. So we actually get to take that and makes it all free. The original five dollars that I got is now back in my wallet. So that means now instead of the twenty the fifteen dollars that I had left in my wallet, I now have twenty again, and I got this three dollar ticket. Now we have eighteen dollars in lottery. For absolutely nothing. Climb the ladder is, ah, it is legit. And I am telling you, that is what it does. That is what it always does. We always see something like that. It's not always the same. It's not always the same what you're going to get. Sometimes it's less money. Sometimes it's for five bucks. And sometimes it's for free. And then other times you actually get paid to play. So we are going to play this $3 ticket. See if it continues. Oh, if it continues, I'm going to say that the lottery paid me to play it so but there's a little guest that we've got i do have a little guest it is my little ball guy look what came to me in the idaho lottery they actually sent me one of these and guess what we're starting a new year yes we are it's a little early right now but i start doing it towards the end of december and that's where we're at this little guy is what I wanted to give away for our little end of the year, but now it's going to be for our first of the year. Yes, this little guy, if you member up, you can win him. Yeah, you can. You can win this. Do you like these little beanie babies? Who doesn't? These, I mean, people have them sitting all over in their, on their desks. They've got them on their couches. They've got them everywhere on their nightstands. You name it, these things are everywhere. Not just these balls, but you can find a whole bunch of uh, other little beanie babies that people have. These things are so adorable. Anyways... This one right here, we are giving away to one of our members. Yes, we are in the month of January. So, member up, and you might actually be the one to win this guy right here. Yep, we're also going to do a couple of tickets and stuff like that. Celebrating 2022, and we're going to be seeing how some people get to win some of that stuff right there. And hope to see you there. It's not going to be, hopefully we're not probably, probably not going to make it a live event because we don't have a, aren't going to be, Putting out a lot of money for the 2022. They don't. The Idaho Lottery doesn't have anything coming out for the tw year 2022. But we can still celebrate with a mixture of tickets that are coming out that time. So that's how we're gonna do it. And we're gonna put it on there, let all the people watch it and stuff like that. Someone's gonna win that ball guy. Maybe it'll be you. All you have to do is member up. Yes. Thank you to all of our current members. And here we go. Let us finish climb the ladder. This is Beach and Go Bingo. We won 20 bucks on this one already. Can we make more? Maybe. Find a shell. You double the prize. Yes, you do. Uh, t uh, cards right here. As they keep going down, a, you go down here and get card four. They're actually worth more. So hopefully that happens. Ticket 100. This is actually first ticket in the pack. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. A new pack. Oh, can we get over that taboo? I do not know. One and three, two, nine, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, one and three, two. That's it right there. Now, the thing about Beach and Go right here is these numbers right here. I don't know if you can see them very well, but there they are. Number 18, $18 and the $20 prizes. There is actually one in 100, which are 100 tickets in a pack, to get a $20 prize. So they return the $20 back into the a single pack. Every single pack usually has one. 
The kicker though, the caveat, is there's actually two $18 prizes in every pack. That's killer insane. We find that with Climb the Ladder on one of these, it's crazy. And we've actually done it a long time ago. $64 a lottery for like two bucks. That's what it was. So let's see if we continue that little possibility. I would love to see it if we did. It'd be crazy. What a way to kick out 2021 and welcome in 2022. We would do it. We'd enjoy it. All righty. I need to zoom in a little bit. This is getting a little bit crazy. Let's get in here a little bit more. There we go. Now I gotta focus, brighten, all that crazy stuff. Lighting, lights, camera, and action. All right, we have ourselves a B7. Let's see if Climb the Ladder can't find more. We always like that. Sometimes it's those come from behind tickets. They make you win. No I, but we have N, G, and O. 31 N. Hmm. If we can get more, maybe it's something big. Then climb the ladder actually becomes crazier. I'm sure we can. Now that we have those 18s back, let's get one of those. That'll do it. I'm ready for it. I'm going to shut out this year's Climb the Ladder app series and episodes with awesomeness. Something big. I mean, we're all get, we're already getting all this stuff for free. Yes, we are. Eighteen dollars lottery for nothing, nothing. Some people wonder how it happens. I'm showing it to you. Forty six. I am now showing it to you how it happens. Hard for people to sometimes register it. Some people say, "Hey, that yeah, looks pretty cool." They get it and they're like, "Wow, I wish I could do that with my tickets." You just you can. You just got to remember to watch those odds. If your odds are on your tickets are like one in five and whatnot, you may want to pull a few more. Uh, you can pull five, but then you're only probably not really guaranteed to get a winner out of five tickets. You're probably more like 80% chance to get that, to get a winner out of five tickets. But if it was more like one in three, then you're going to get definite winner out of five tickets. But if it's like one in five or like one in eight, you might want to start adjusting the odds to your climbing ladder differently. Go ahead and showcase it and let me see what you win. Show me what you can do. I only do this once a week, by the way. And you see the craziness that I can have on it just once. Just once a week. I mean, that is just crazy. I've done some uh, five episodes of it all in one week. I've actually put it on there. I did five different sets of five $1 tickets. And you saw me uh, accelerate it and show you some stuff. And we had like, you know... God, we had like something like $40 a lottery for like less than 20 bucks or something like that. It was always a 50% more lottery than what you got, which is actually quite what it's usually what we get. So your lottery dollars do go further. Sometimes you get paid to do it. And we have, I've showcased that before. It's usually about one or two bucks. Because I want, the reason why is because I'm not taking, when, sometimes I've had like $10 in like profit. And what I decided to do was keep going. I mean, climb the ladder, trying to show you how much lottery you can get and just keep st stuffing it in there and showing you guys something with still taking a small profit or getting it all for free. And that's the craziness. That's what I actually try to show you. 4758G. 47 and 58. There they are. Maybe we can do that again. I get usually a couple of big wins uh, with Climb the Ladder. And then an 071. I get a couple of them every year, even though I do it only once a week. And then I get a lot of the good ones where you're like, you know, seven for five and all that stuff. It's, it's pretty standard fare, but you have to realize that when you get something like that, it's pretty... It's actually pretty good. Every time you get more lottery than what you pay for, you're doing yourself a favor. You're buying those odds for less money. And one of these days, you just don't know when, but you're going to hit something big. Doing doing it with Climb the Ladder, you're, you know, you see me touch. I have touched the $30 ticket tier and the $20 ticket tier. You saw this year, you saw me hit the $10 ticket tier quite a few, quite a few times. 3 and 12. 
you've seen me hit the $10 ticket tier a couple of times on Climb the Ladder. Always exciting to start seeing those big boys show up in Climb the Ladder. I showed at least a $5 ticket this time. And then we got it finally an I, 22. It's even better when we see a $20 ticket or even a $30 ticket. Pretty rare to see a $30 ticket, but it does happen. It's just been a while, probably about a year. They just don't show up very much. 34 N. But when they do, oh my goodness, I get so nervous if I ever do them. I don't like doing it. I like to actually try to pull like three tens or maybe a 20 and a 10 because if you pull just 130 and lose, ugh, maybe it was a wasted opportunity. What if you go down and get a $20 ticket and a $10 ticket and it was the $10 ticket that actually sends you more money? And so you are always trying to get more money when you do this. I mean, if you put all your eggs in one basket, you know, five versus five dollars episodes that we show you that, that sometimes it's not always wise to put it all in one ticket. Sometimes make a decision like that and sink it too fast. Maybe you win, you know, thirty, you know, three hundred thousand dollars and then ha, <laughs> then climb the ladder does everything for you. And then you're like, oh my God, how do we do that? Sometimes it pays off big and sometimes it doesn't at all. But if you still get the thirty dollars back, you could always try again. Sometimes we can do that too. Uh B six. Maybe it will happen next year, 2022. Good things in 2022. There's B6. No more eyes again. 40, 41N. Bonk. There we go. Shells are free. They double. 41. Alrighty. 61 and 69. Oh my God, that's getting so close. A line on there, ooh, 20 bucks, wow. Oh man, you know what climbing the ladder would do then? I'd probably get crazy and get a $20 ticket. Ugh, I, I shouldn't do that, I should actually get some profit first and then get like three $5 tickets or something like that. I'm telling you, or a $10 and a $5 ticket, I think I'd do that. 61 to 69. That would be stupid crazy, I'm telling you. Oh, I can almost feel it. Until you find out it's just gas. <laughs> I know. All right. All we need is that I-16, but we got an I-17's dead. <laughs> ah, an I-17. I know what they're doing. <laughs> I've seen it so many times before. Ah, 57 and 60. They uncover everything but one in each line. Yeah, I definitely have to cut it off after this, though. You know why? This climb ladder episode's getting pretty long. Lots of tickets, lots of fun, lots of action. Ooh. All good stuff. It's all good. Okay. 66 oh. oh my 66 need only four corners on this to actually win 30,000 bucks was it an X I think it was an X yeah X is for 30,000 bucks I lied <laughs> there it is it's so easy to lie I mean I swear if you don't know what you're looking at some of them are blackouts you require a blackout this one, no, it's just that X line. Get that X line down on the fourth card, you get $30,000. All right, we got B. Oh man, a B20, an I25, ugh. B14. Don't do this to me. Every time I turn around, you're pulling that trick, pulling that leg. 25. Don't leave me hanging. Make climb the ladder go really, really good. Come on now, come on. G48. So close. 
on some of these. It just makes me insane. It drives me insane, I'm telling you. I want to see something. Something good. 67 -0. Oh my, 67. Oh, a line! You're kidding me! Oh man, a line is three bucks! <laughs> no, it's six! Because we doubled it. Let me see. I am going to check that really quick here. 66. I never believe it when I see it. 66, 67, 71. Yes. And 70. Oh my god, there is actually six bucks there, folks. Because of the doubler shell right there. Oh, man. I guess we picked a good three. Oh. Ah, that's another $3 ticket and $3 profit. It's like now $21 in lottery for $3 profit. They paid us to play all this lottery. And climb the ladder keeps going. Maybe I should just take the $6 profit and say $18 a lottery. And they paid us 6 bucks to do it. You can do it any way you want. Or I can get two more. Get a $5 and get a $1 profit. Oh, the options just change. Two $3 tickets, three $2 tickets, more profit all the time. Boy, crazy. Here we are again. Maybe we have more. I do not know. Let us continue. So we got six bucks up there. It's probably the $6. I am crazy now. This is Climb the Ladder, folks. It is a good one for the end of the year. Probably have another one towards Christmas anyways. I'll probably get it really late. It'll probably be on the, let's see, the 31st. It's on a Saturday, I think. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're going to wind up having that. No, it's the 31st is on a Friday. First is on a Saturday. So, yeah, we're probably going to still be able to get. I'll probably film it on the 31st, the next climb the ladder. But, yeah, you'll probably see one more at least. Hopefully that's a good thing. All right. We got an I-28. No, no more of the bees. Oh, no. All right, I-28. Maybe some more. Yes, we got a line. We got six bucks. I bet you it is just six bucks. And that's fine because, man, we're going to make profit on this one. This is going to be crazy. N-45. Yep. Oh, this is going to be crazy. We like that. If we get $12 on one of these lines, let me see if I can get 12 bucks on a line. Nope. Because then you can actually still get $18. Theoretically, <laughs> 28i. That would actually be pretty cool. That one's not there. N45. That's what I was looking for. N45. And there it is. Okay, no 44. G55. Still could get 18 bucks. Now, wouldn't that be funny? 55 is alive there it is 55 on that one oh, everything at 55 sweet we like that and 55 and then an 075 oh my goodness all right there we are you know i can also find that just give me a brief moment, and I can probably find an SIX on here. Yep, there's the S and the X. Okay, SIX. There it is. There's proof positive right there that we got six bucks. Hallelujah. Climb the ladder's going to make profit. That's what I wanted to do, but I can also be crazy because it's free right now. Just throw it all in there. Grab three $2 tickets and just let it ride, then take the profit. <laughs> Let's do that. Probably do that. Plus, it's also probably that I'm supposed to keep stay climbing the ladder. Uh, that means I have to actually get about $5. We can try to do that. Stay tuned. You never know what I'm going to do. I will be right back. And I'm back. And no, it's not a trick of your camera. We really did play, are going to actually, all of this lottery for nothing. And that is Climb the Ladder. We are returning for that. And that $5 bill is the same one I showed in the other one. Don't want people saying, oh, it's not the same $5 bill. You're uh, messing up your props and stuff. Nope. I left this out on purpose. Go ahead and read that serial number right there. There you go. Ah, now you can check that and see it on the, next, the other part. And then it has consistency. <laughs> I will run all these videos together to make one nice big long video because it is getting long. I want to show you guys something. All right, you can barely see it on the screen there right now, but here is follow all fun. That is round one. Round two is right here, $10 right there. Round three is right there. This is unprecedented, folks. 
I have chosen winning tickets three times in a row. This is the fourth run right here. The three Be My Huckleberries. Why? Because this one won six bucks. And now we've got at least, oh my God, it's like $24 on lottery. When we're done here, if these things don't give me anything, which I have been begging them to, I've not found a winner on them at all. So I'm going to try them again. We are going to have $24 on lottery for nothing. What? Ugh, let's get to it. We can wrap our heads around it later. But climb the ladder is itching to continue. Now, I am going to have to actually stop it on this one. I mean, I have gone days. Keep picking the winners. Gone days. Um, I actually start these things on usually on about Friday. I go out there and I go and start uh, running it through so I can have the weekend so I can go and pick up tickets when I can get out. It's winter and there's some slush and snow and ice everywhere, but I still make my way to my store and go and pick up some tickets. Anyways, Climb the Ladder is filmed over a couple of days. I mean, you can actually do it right away, which sometimes I recommend, but sometimes I don't. You are at the mercy with dangling winners, so you can draw it out however long you want. I usually do it once a week and carry it on, so it could be over a couple of days. It doesn't change anything. It may change the, how many people pull losers so they can pull all the losers out of the way, pave the way for you, and you can actually get a winner. But, I mean, it's all luck of the draw. You go in there, go to a different store, go grab a ticket, whatever time on the same day you do this or whatever. I like to do it leisurely. And leisurely, it's doing really well. So let's get to scratching. Uh, we got tickets number 98 through 96. It was counting down. So let's do it. Ah, uh, brand new pack. Woo! <laughs> Be My Huckleberry. This is a Valentine's ticket. It is still the dead of winter. <laughs> Getting really chilly over here in Idaho. Gonna go down to negative two <laughs> this weekend. Christmas is gonna be frigid. New Year's is gonna be even worse. Lovely. Went up to 10,000 bucks. We are looking for that sharp heart symbol right there. And sea of purple. <laughs> purple blueberries, huckleberries, whatever you wanna call them. Win triple the prize if you find that. That is actually pretty cool. Odds on this ticket, though, are... Killer. One and three, four, six. I still have not found anything winning, uh, any winners on this brand new ticket, but we're going to try. Maybe climb the ladder, it'll all change. So, here we go. Ah, find a heart symbol. Find love. Is that what they're telling us to do? Find love? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, I think love is left, best left to those who can sustain it. <laughs> oh, otherwise... Better to have love and lost, I think, is what they say, than not loved at all. 18 and 6. What do we have? Uh, 12. 18 and 6 is what I'm looking for. There's a 6. Ooh! Uh-oh. I went and showed it. It's there. That is an S. Oh, boy! Yes, it can be another $6 winner. We get all that money back. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to end it. <laughs> this is going to be a winner. All right, that is actually pretty cool. Whoa. That's <laughs> three bucks. Ugh, let's see what we're going to do. I'm pretty much sure we're going to get about six. Pretty sure. All right. You know what this means. I told you I wanted to get more, and I... Pulled it. Now I pulled winners four times in a row. That's scary, folks. And I've just gone on way too long with this video. I'm telling you, it can go on forever. I'm telling you, if you're like really lucky and you just, just go to days when you feel like really lucky and go and grab a ticket. I mean, if you did this on Climbing Ladder, you could pretty much do this for a long stretch. This is four times in a row. Four times in a row, I have picked winning tickets. That is sick. It's sick. There is a ten. There's a 13. And there is our 18. And you know what it is. There it is. <sighs> well, who cares now? I went and spent six bucks and I got it back right there. That is awesome. So now, you know, you know what? This is climb ladders. So it's just crazy now. I have played $24 of lottery. Now I'm going to. I've actually got two more, but this is this is this is gonna be the outcome. Whether we like it or not. <laughs> Gone on forever. Climb ladder can go on forever. Now you're not. Now I'm showing you. It's got a lot of steam in it. I mean, you can do whatever you want with climb ladder, and it can take you anywhere you want. I'm gonna play twenty four dollars on lottery here, and this is gonna be. They paid me six bucks to play it. 
the lottery paid me six bucks to play Climb Ladder. Literally 11 bucks. I mean, five dollars, money prop, boom. Another six bucks. It's 11 bucks they paid me. So it's like $24 a lottery and they paid me to play it. This is what the lottery does. Climb the ladder. It's real, folks. I have no gimmicks. It's not a gimmick. It's real. It's a strategy. Yep. Carry what you carry over what you take. Just keep going. I mean, it just keeps going. 18 and 27. I mean, it can. If you're lucky. And we just are. I mean, it's finally, I, you know, I always do a winner on these, I guess. So I finally got a winner on this ticket. And it happened to be a nice tripler. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, it's just crazy. I don't know what to say. Climb the Ladder has done really well for us up here in Idaho. It's a staple because this... Uh, I, I don't know why, every, you know, every, every channel should actually be doing something like this. You guys should actually start trying to do this and keep it up because show all your wins. This thing pays for itself many times. I mean, it's cheap. I mean, the video... You can make an entire video off of it and... It'll pay itself back. I mean, more lottery than what you pay, pay for. Get it for free. No winners there. Not this time. We got 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and a backwards 21. Ah, that's crazy. Uh, the climb ladder, it's, it's, it's just a staple. I've played so many tickets. I mean, you guys, you go out there and you, go, you, you, know, you straight up buy like $30 worth of tickets, you know, or $25 worth of tickets. Well, I just did $24 in lottery and the lottery paid for itself. I mean, it gave me the money to go and do it. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't have to go out there and spend it all out of the pocket. Just did it. It just comes out and says, here, go do $24 in lottery on us. And we'll even pay you six bucks to do it. Might get a little more, 10 and 14, maybe. I got the winning out of the, the losing out of the way. Got the winning out of the way. We always can do that too. <laughs> we did actually get it done. So, another winner. Oh, it's not going to just be six bucks, folks. It can now be eight. <laughs> okay. Six, six, six. <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know what else to say. Climbing Ladder speaks for itself. It really does. I can go ahead and run it up all I want. Show you guys. I'm showing you guys this thing, this strategy, because I want you to see that I'm not playing any gimmicks here. I just go and pick up the tickets. You'll see me put down five tickets here. I'll scratch them and I'll get what I have. And you see, I says, well, looks like we're not going to have much options today. It's only two bucks. But then I go and grab something and I win 20. <laughs> you never know what happens. There's a 12. And there's a 20. Okay. We got a 10 up there. Probably two bucks, but that makes it eight. Three bucks. Oh my God, it's nine. Nine bucks. That's like what? The highest profit I had so far? Oh, oh, this is crazy. I was looking for one winner and I got two. Ah, asking, you shall receive. And there they are. So there's that one. There's this one. Let's put that little loser in the middle. Split them up like that. All right. Now, everything else is going to have to fit on here, too. And I don't want to zoom out that much. Just going to put them right here, right in there. All right. Holiday fall fun. There's all the other ones. Oh, my God. This just fits on everything. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to. <laughs> let's see if I can't zoom it out a little bit here. Right about there. And now we got it all here. <laughs> there you go. Fall fun. More huckleberries. There it is. Nine dollars. <laughs> so we played twenty-four dollars in lottery, and the lottery paid me nine bucks to play it. And there's that five dollar money prop right there paying for the original five tickets. Well, I got nine extra dollars in my wallet, played a hell of a lot of lottery. Twenty-four dollars in lottery, and we were paid nine bucks to do it. That is called a profit session. That is called climb the ladder, making money for you. And you're like, didn't even spend anything. <laughs> so there it is. Thank you guys for watching. I got to cut it off here. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know what you like and what you don't. Don't forget to member up if you haven't already uh, explored that. We do have a membership now. Join us on climb the ladder. <laughs> Hell, let, I'll even let you pick the tickets that you want us to play on them. And hey, let me know when you're a member. Hey, you can, you can go and say, hey, I want you guys to do this ticket. Do the five the, the five of the other ones that we have, the new ones that are come out in January. Who knows? Uh, do 10 of them. <laughs> do 
pit them against each other. So that's what we do with our memberships. But this was a really good one to climb the ladder. We show you how to play the lottery for free, make some money on it, actually get paid to play it, or even just just nothing. But you can you can you can't lose more than five bucks here. I mean, that's just what it is. You lose that right there. Ugh, it's crazy. All right, done enough talking. <laughs> you guys take care now. Merry Christmas. Chris, this is like Christmas Eve when I'm doing this. So Merry Christmas to you and have a happy new year. It's a bright 2022. Let's make it that way. See it that way and it shall be. Take care now. Bye-bye.